Okay, new evidence, I mean, as, as if we needed more, of the pay-to-play politics, Hillary Clinton's State Department gave favorable treatment to, quote, friends of Bill Clinton after devastating Haitian earthquake. This is according to the newly released emails that we are seeing. Donald Trump taking aim at the Democratic nominee earlier today. As people were dying in Haiti, Clinton insiders were separating out requests from friends of Bill or William Jefferson Clinton VIPs so that their business interests or contracts would receive very special treatment, while those who were not special friends would be put permanently on the sidelines. Here now is Bernard Sansariki, is former president of the Haitian Senate. So I want to read to you the emails that we're talking about here, or at least some of them. Um, it says, quote, uh, you need to flag people who are friends of WJC, that's William Jefferson Clinton, of course. This is a senior State Department official who is juggling incoming offers um, to funnel assistance from the State Department over to these companies that are going to come in. And she says, most I could probably ID, but not all. This is an FOB with an exclamation point. An aide forwards a note later with a woman's uh, offer for medical supplies. If she's not, she should go directly to CD, CIDI org. This is the you know regular government website, the way other people would enter and make bids for these products. But if you were a friend of Bill, you could come in. And what we learned later was that they were not competitively bidding for contracts, that they were just given these contracts. And in some cases, there was outright fraud of these people who came in through the Clintons. What is your opinion of that? And, and what did that do to the Haitians that were so desperately in need of help? It has entirely crushed Haiti. Uh, in 2010, we had an earthquake that killed 315,000 people. That's really a deadly earthquake, and millions were left without shelter. President Obama named Bill Clinton as the one that who should be in charge of the reconstruction of Haiti. And in that process, the Clinton Foundation, through U.S. taxpayers' money, and people giving money worldwide to the Clinton Foundation for relief effort to Haiti, contributed about $14.3 billion. We're talking about billion dollars, okay? And n the Haitian people has not seen not even 2% of that money. 2%? Nothing was done in Haiti. Yeah. No, and, and, and the New York Times has investigated this. Lots of other people have and have found that it was donors to the Clinton Foundation that were then given these contracts, and they went exactly. in. Exactly. Yeah, go ahead. Exactly, and actually, they were given those contracts. They were given millions of dollars from that money, and nothing was actually done in Haiti. Yeah. Uh, Haiti, just like everything the Clinton have done, is pay for play. And they control Haiti, and they have been controlling Haiti since 1994 when they invaded Haiti. Yeah. Myself, I can tell you that back in 19, in August of 1994, I was in, always in contact with U.S. officials. Yeah. And uh, one of the uh, person that came to see me in Haiti and talked to me for about four hours was ex-former Congressman Bill Richardson. And I explained yeah. to Bill the exact situation that was happening in Haiti. A week later, a messenger from the U.S. Embassy came to me with a message from Bill Clinton, offered to buy me out, make oh, me the oh. richest man in Haiti. Okay. I refused. I said, to tell Mr. Clinton I am not for sale. Okay. A week later, my visa, at, at that time I was not a citizen of the United States, my residence visa was revoked by... Executive order okay. from Bill Clinton. Sir, I, I mean, what the Clinton have done in Haiti is unbelievable, and the American people should know about it. Yeah, a absolutely. We're up against a hard break. It's going to cut us mm. off. I hope that you will come back and tell us more about your story because this is so important. Oh, the foundation definitely. We got said their, their work has focused on helping the people of Haiti in their time of urgent need. Obviously, you disagree. Thank you, sir. Wow. We'll be right back. What a bombshell. Yeah. We're coming right back.